Hey guys, Ted Bogart here. Welcome back to the Ted Show. Gosh, I am so excited to have Maria and Curtis Partridge on the show. Maria and I go way, 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 way back when she was just a child. Um, <laughs> and then I ran into her at a John Chin event of all yeah. things. Uh, and so we brought it back and she's got this amazing husband, this amazing company. Obviously, Curtis is her husband. Uh, we have Lotus Management Services, but they have a really cool event coming up. It's the Orlando Small Business Tech Day, and it's November 16th. They've got some amazing speakers. I mean, we're all about tech, right? Yeah. Uh, we want to learn. We want to get educated, and we want to hear it from pros who can tell us what we need to hear. So they're here to share all things tech. Welcome to the show, y'all. How are you doing today? Thank you, Ted. Glad to be here. Excited to have you. I love Curtis's background. I wish I could pull that off. I usually look like I'm going in and out of some kind of crazy uh, trip there, but you look perfect. Um, so before we get into Tech Day, I want the audience, my audience, to know a little bit about you both. And of course, we'll start with ladies first. Maria, tell them a little bit about you, and then we'll wrap it up with Curtis, and he can talk all things tech. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. So me. Um, uh, Ted actually, Ted and I actually have done business in the past um, in the real estate world, okay. and um, so but my career has been in property management. Have been working with real estate investors, um, so a lot of numbers, right? Numbers, liability, compliance, you name it, from A to Z. Um, so that's the bulk of my career. Love working with people. Um, that's kind of morphed into um, business management and um, Lotus Management Services was born. Um, at that venture, um, my biggest passion is basically helping others. I mean, in, in helping investors, they have an ultimate goal. Um, how do you get there? What do you do while you're investing during that? And then what is your exit strategy? Um, so that consultation kind of brings, I'm bringing forward in Lotus Management Services. Small businesses, they, they have a end goal. How do you get, you know, kind of, um, manage the whole minutia of, you know, all kinds of things peering you into different acts, especially when the growth starts happening. So that's what Lotus Management does, has that tech, brings some clarity to it and manage that component to make sure that they can focus on their growth. We do all the small details, make sure that that, you know, those holes are covered and bring some experts forward to make sure that they're handled properly. That's that's our techs our engineer and all the security that goes along with it. So we have our check boxes. We want to make sure we stay current. Um, so our guys are constantly getting educated. We are always getting educated. You can't grow if you're not doing that, right? Um, so that that is us. That's what we love to do. That's our passion. We we enjoy, you know, the day-to-day -day and like when they're pulling their hair out, hey, no worries here. <laughs> <Good for you. laughs> so. What I love is you've got the people component, which a lot of times from a tech company, that's what that's why most tech companies scare business owners and people because yes. uh, tech tech is something they don't know and so the unknown and if you don't have a people person there uh, to kind of help them feel better about it uh, it's a scary it's a scary thing to have Absolutely. to deal with that's why I'm happy they have you but they also have to have Curtis uh, not that Curtis isn't friendly too look at that smile but <laughs> uh, you know you want somebody who understands the tech inside and out so. Welcome, Curtis. Tell us a little bit about you. Thank you, Ted. And I wanted to follow up real quick when you mentioned about people, 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 I guess you could say, people <laughs> oriented people. Uh, that's the first thing we look for when we hire is yeah. those that have empathy because, you know, when folks are calling them, a lot of times they're in a rough spot and they need to get something done right now. So that's why we answer the phone live and we do it in less than 30 seconds. And, and you don't get a dispatcher, you get a tech. He can help you right then, right there, he or she, so. That's awesome. But, that is so good because I can't tell you how many people have told me horror stories um, about tech companies. And so it's wonderful to have a tech company that's people first, yes, uh, which yeah. is what you guys are. So tell us a little bit about you, Curtis, where you, did you wake up one day and as a five-year-old and decide you wanted to be in technology, give us a little background on you. More or less. <laughs> More or less, yeah, I was seven years old. I got my first computer, uh, started programming in assembly language, which is pretty advanced for a seven year, eight year old, and uh, and played around in that for quite a while. Ended up getting into broadcasting. 
and uh, was on air and did engineering as well through the 90s. Kind of saw that industry changing and said, let me do something else and got into full-blown IT in the late 90s, mid to late 90s. And um, I, I just absolutely love it. I, I live, breathe, eat, sleep technology. It's it's fun. Our, matter of fact, we, we renovated a home in 2019 and everything's automated. We don't turn lights on or off. It just happens. And so to me, it's just fun. And what's really taken over in the last couple of years has been security. I decided about a year and a half ago to get, go back to school, which is fun at 50, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've always been in some sort of training, but this was two hours a day at least and very intense and got uh, a, a really good certification in security and was able to land that earlier this year. And um, so now we're focusing more and more just out of need, security and compliance and you know, eventually we're all going to have to be compliant to something. Even insurance companies are requiring IT compliance now and are, and a, you know, going through a compliance program to even buy insurance. It's scary out there. Uh, it is. Security wise, it's interesting. I've been seeing a lot. I, I have a real estate group uh, that I created on Facebook and I can't tell you the number of made up accounts that want to join that group. And you have to really know what to look for to know that that's a fake account. And yeah. imagine businesses who are accepting these clients in and then on their social media and the access that they're given, it is very, very scary out there. And I only know a little bit. I can't imagine a big company where security is everything to me. Um, not having a tech company that also believes the same thing behind me. So, yeah, it's very yeah. scary out there. We're, well, the biggest thing we're seeing is business email compromise yeah. where they'll infiltrate your email system and then they can have, they can do all sorts of things once they do that. Yeah. We've seen losses of, uh, one company had a loss of $45,000 via wire fraud. Yeah. Um, we actually know of a title company that suffered uh, well over $200,000 in loss. Jeez. It's scary because you know, I've seen those emails. I have actually seen them come in and they look exactly like a title company request for wire. And if you are not on top of it and know that borrower is going to do it. And that's why title companies are so adamant about uh, really trying to keep on top of that. But these people keep growing and they learn and they develop and they evolve. And so people like you, like Lotus Management Services, um, behind them helps them keep ahead of that game. And I, I love that because it's happening every day. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. There's, um, you know, when you talk about people, um, so we are only as good as the knowledge that our people have, right? Um, it is constantly morphing. So the education piece is really important. Um, knowing that the, um, like you say, it's scary. So the business owner that is concerned about the, the status of their client or customer, you know, the end user, they're like, really want to make sure that they're protected too. And I think that um, in today's world, the regulations that are being put in place in the state of Florida um, is to expand on that, 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 you know, how are you going to protect, you know, it's your responsibility as a business owner to make sure that that happens. Um, so now they're actually putting these measures as a regulatory um, nuances in, in the industry. So um, it affects all of us. It affects all of us from, you know, from the start point to the end point. And then while you um, are looking to do that reoccurring, you know, um, transaction, that reoccurring purchase and sale. Um, what are you doing with that information? So it went on from PCI compliance to insurance, making sure that you know that coverage is checking all those boxes, those boxes, and then the compliance piece is like, you know, show me how you're actually preventing all this. Yes. And then so now you have you're being held accountable with monetary fines as well as processes. And, and the proof of burden falls on these small businesses. So 
It is. And that's probably, I'm going to guess, actually, I'll just ask the question. So is that part of the impetus behind Orlando Small Business Tech Day? Because um, I think that, I think having that, when Maria told me about um, what you're doing, I thought, oh my God, why haven't, why don't, why didn't I know about this before? <laughs> uh, because I think it's so important, especially on the small business level, because you're trying to maneuver through a lot of you all out there and you're not sure if they really have the certifications, if they really know what they're doing. And some of them are charging a lot of money and they are uh, hiring people that don't have the experience or the education. And so it's scary as a business owner out there, a small business owner to figure out how to spend that money because you want to make sure you spend it in the right place with the right people. So talk about the impetus behind uh uh, Orlando Small Business Tech Day, and then tell us a little bit about it, because I'm excited. So Orlando Business Day, um, we had the opportunity to bring some great experts in their area. So it's not just us as keynote speakers. Um, this is what we do on a day to day, but who are we? You know, so we're bringing forward some some experts. Um, Robert Hershevich from the Shark Tank. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but he's got his own cybersecurity enterprise level. Um, so he has um, started, you know, from like, you know, $5 million a few years in, and now he's a $1 billion company. So that kind of tells you that this person has been there in the front. front. And let me tell you, when they say that he's a nice shark, he is definitely that nice person. He really, yeah. truly is. He really is. Um, yeah, he is very vulnerable. He'll just, you know, he just like we're talking right now, that's, it's a simple conversation. He's amazing. Um so anyways, we want to bring his expert expertise so business owners can understand there are solutions and you can step through this whole huge out big elephant that you have to buy, you know, what's your budget, what's, you know, this is the importance of prioritizing. So we are want to make sure that it's like, well, it's not just us speaking, hear, hear it from the best, right? Yes. And then we also have Adam Sire that is um, the co-founder of, of, of Siri. So um, I was like... Um, blown away that we had that opportunity. He's going to be talking about AI. A lot of people have a lot of questions. Should we be afraid of it? How should we use the tool? Is it a tool? Um, and also being aware of what the dangers are, you know, so that's going to be fantastic. And then we have Michael McCallowitz. He's, um, we've known him. We've actually had the opportunity to meet him in person and also hear him speak. We follow almost everything that he has. He's got some great um, business aspects that he's going to be bringing to a small um, business owner and a mid-sized um, business owner. Um, so that's going to be great content. Um, and then we're going to be talking about more of a, um, the practicality of these nuances, budget, um, insurance, and so forth. But we're not only having the virtual event, which I hope everybody you know joins us, in, and I know that's going to be probably very convenient, um, but we also have a watch party. So by registering to our event, it's a four hour virtual event. Um, you're going to have the opportunity to ask questions for the chat platform. But if you come to the watch party, you're going to be able to engage with a lot of these tool um, professionals that are going to be there that we bring forward as our offering to, you know, solve all these little um, issues and challenges that you have on a day to day. Um, you know, so are all these solutions safe, you know, and what's my recourse behind it? You can ask that question right then and there. Um, so it's not just us. It's also going to be our team that, you know, helps us support our small business clients and for anyone else that wants to join us and um, or just ask questions to make sure they're making the right decisions and, and um, choosing a provider. So absolutely, you know, happy to help. I can tell that you're a people group first because most tech companies wouldn't think about the watch part, the social part. Yeah. And so I love the fact that you can do the techie part. You can be somewhere else and watch and be virtual. But I love the in-person part because that's where a lot of small businesses are going to want to touch and feel and see and interact and and then get comfortable with. And so uh, that's such a really cool component of what you're doing, because a lot of times it's easy to get lost in a million other things when you're watching something virtual, but to be there and be able to watch it and participate with you, with your team, that's a huge deal to me. Thank you. We can also have amazing food. The Wave Hotel will be for, bringing forward to I love the Wave Hotel. Yes, yes. 
there's there's plenty of art and then we can have a little bit of fun we have happy hour right after and you know we want to make sure we roll out the red carpet and but it's about being comfortable watching on and getting educated on something that may not be so comfortable um but uh we want to bring that comfort down i'm excited actually really excited because i feel like we don't i've seen little things here and there or maybe bigger tech events but small businesses are really, to me, it's an untapped market and it's there's a definite huge need. Uh, and when I think of small businesses, I think of tiny businesses, these small yeah. entrepreneurial companies that uh, might have come together in 2020 and now they've got a couple of employees and they have no idea really what's going on uh, and they don't understand the importance of the technology. Or I'm seeing on the real estate side, Maria, a lot of title companies coming up um, and opening and the thought of them not having the protect the protection that they need or are required to have is really scary out there. So it's really a huge deal. I mean, I'm really excited. I'm not a, like I know enough to be dangerous. Like I knew I know how to spot a fake account ish, yeah. um, but I want to learn more. And I think that there's a lot of people like me who just aren't sure where to go for that. Right. So now here's here's the time and a day and a place to go. So talk about the event. How can they register? Uh, give them the date again. Talk about the Wave Hotel and the time frame and all the good details. So it's on November 16th from 1230 to 5. Um, the four hour event, you will, um, you know, you'll have an opportunity to um, come and get comfortable. And then we have the virtual part. Um, and then happy hour will, will commence after that. Um, that's going to be at the Wave Hotel. But if you if you are not able to come um, and you want to watch um, virtually, you can always um, get registered, which I would recommend either way. Uh, LotusBusinessTech.com um, backslash tech day slash dash day dash 2023, which is right above um, Curtis's head. <laughs> yes, and I'll, I'll, that'll be in the body of the post right about here. Yeah, I know it's so good. Like you actually look good in yours. What I, you. I literally look like I'm going in and out of. A I have to be very still. I can mess it up just like okay. that. <laughs> okay, good. I, I feel a little better about yes. that. Like, I, that's why I have um, all the statuesque. <laughs> yes, you have to sit still, and I have no ability to do that, apparently. <laughs> um, so November 16th, and we'll put the link um, in the body of this uh, in a minute, and I'll make sure that you got, as we're sharing it, I'll share the link so that you can register. I also agree with Maria. I think you should register for the virtual, but you still should attend uh, if you can. I think it's super important to have that interaction to get to know Curtis and Maria and their team uh, so that you can feel really good because I see it a lot. I see people talking about getting stuff stolen. I see business owners struggling with tech they don't know how to do it. They're trying to do it all on their own. Uh, yeah. their, cousin, their cousin Vinny might have taken a <laughs> class 30 years ago. And their cousin Vinny is the one that's helping them out. And so it's just a recipe for disaster. And I love the compliance part that you were talking about where all of our industries are under the gun and the re responsibility is back on the small business owner. And they really have to get with the times and get with a company that can support them. Uh, okay. just like you all can. I want to mention too, we're going to have a lot of fun giveaways at the oh, yeah. as well. And um, and a couple surprises. So it's it's Love it's it. not only just going to be learning, but it's going to be a lot of fun as well. See, again, people versus tech, because most small business owners would say, my tech company is not fun. There's <laughs> nothing fun about my tech company. I'm not, yeah, I'm no, not I'm having a good it. time. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I love that you thought that through. And I think that is a testament to uh, what's going on behind the scenes with your business and your relationships. All right, one more time, tell them the best way they can register and the best way they can reach out to you all. So we can um, register at lotusbusinesstech.com backslash tech dash day dash 2023. Um, and you can reach us at Maria Partridge at lotusmserve.com and Curtis at Curtis Partridge at Lotus Business. Sorry lotusmserve.com um yeah and you can um email us and um, we'd be happy to reach out if you have any questions in the interim um i also want to mention we have some great sponsors if it wasn't for them we this was would not be possible lenovo has been amazing they're really like they have the heart for the um small businesses and great have great products grand streamers are platinum sponsor they're amazing summit broadband LNPC, LNPC, which is Lake Nona Performance Center, um, amazing product for the corporate type of team. 
Um, they also will be there. And that's one of the surprises, by the way. Um, and we also have ADP. You have questions about HR, payroll, so on and so forth. By the way, for all you HR professionals out there, you will get PDCs. You will get professional development certs for this event. So there's um, a dual, so you don't have to, you know, you can get educated and also check that box. Um, so I'd be happy to see you and answer any questions that you may have. Fantastic. I'm excited. November 16th, y'all, the link will be below. Uh, thank you, Maria. Thank you, Curtis. I'm excited. I think it's such an amazing event. What a great idea. People and technology coming together, trying to help the small business owner out. It's awesome. So thank you both for being on the show. You guys register. Get out there. November 16th, 1230 to 5 at the Wave Hotel and or virtual. But I definitely want you to register. And if you can come, you should definitely come and meet Curtis and Maria and their team. Thank you guys so much. Thank we'll see guys. everybody on November 16th. Bye, everybody.